Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today and thank you very much for joining me during the Ultimate Party Week. This is seven days of projects coming out on YouTube, a further seven projects that will correspond with it in the class on my blog and a further four themes available on my blog as well. So this week we're working, working with Coastal Cabana for an elegant ladies party and I told you yesterday what the reason behind that particular colourway was. Um, but this one, it's a gift tag there's nothing written on the back, but you could extend it and make it into a giftable bookmark or something like that. But I thought it was lovely and there no party is complete without gift tags on the beautiful packaging. So, super duper easy. You need a piece of cardstock that measures four by two inches, which is this wisp and white one here, which is 10 by five centimeters. And then I'm using a piece of the beautiful foil vellum, which is three and three quarters by one and three quarters, which is 9.5 by 4.5 centimeters and you need your scallop tag topper punch, love it! So, your width, your length can be anything you like with the tag topper because it's obviously there's no bottom to it but your width, if you're going to want these beautifully smooth rounded edges can be no more than two inches um, which is five centimetres. You can um, over, uh, what's the word, you can, you can bypass this section here and put a wider piece in but to get the beautifully smooth edges, you need it no more than five centimetres, two inches wide. And you slide your card in as far as it will go and you'll meet some resistance and you punch down. That's all you do. And then this one, I'm going to have to hold this up and hope you can see. There are little notches. There's one there that you can see. And you perhaps can't see that one with the shadow, but there's a notch either side. And this layer here with your hearts facing upwards, it goes between the two. So I'm going to position this while I'm looking at it. And hopefully you can see that it's probably gone really fuzzy, in which case I'm really sorry if I've just given you a headache. But you can double check it actually by just by turning it over and make sure and making sure it's all lined up. So let me just reline that up. Punch it. And you've now got these edges, but they're slightly sharper, so you just get your paper snipped and just nick off a hair of a whisper of vellum just to smooth it that tiny little bit more. And then you get your corner rounder, which I forgot to get out when I was prepping, and just round off the bottoms. And the same over here. And I'm going to show you in a second how to mount vellum without seeing anything so but I want to do I'm actually not stamping with this where's my original I'm just using the punches so I've got some foil I can't speak today some silver foil I'm gonna have one of those with the petite petals and one in the I've lost my little my little scallopy flower from the HBT punch pack and if you've been watching all week you will know that I have been restricting myself on exactly how many um, tools and stamps and just retrieve that off the corner of my desk. Oh, I've lost it now. Let's try another one. Um, yes, I've been restricting myself on how many punches and tools and stamps and what have you I can use um, because not everybody has ev access to everything so, you know, I'm working on that theory as well. So the itty bitty punch pack and the petal, uh, petite petals punch are a recurring theme in this. So, post a banner ink, sponge the edges of my flowers, and I've not done a vast amount of stamping through this week either, um, because I, I understand that not everybody is a stamper, I only started rubber stamping um, a year ago, well less than a year ago, because I haven't been with stamping up a year yet, um, and I had never stamped before. I just, it wasn't something I wanted to do. I am highly, heavily addicted now, but I appreciate that not everybody is a stamper and sometimes you'll just, you just want to use cards and paper. So I'm trying to factor in everybody's needs, wants and desires. So, right, I've got my um, uh, mat here that I use to push my flowers into. And I'll repeat what I said the, again the other day, that um, this is the insert for the caddy that you store your clear mount blocks in. Your paper piercing mat will work. Um, but Angie from chickenscratch.com 
over in America has one of these called a chick stand and she will ship all over the world so go check out her blog as well um, so I've got some rhinestone crystals just to go in the center of the little so I'm taking the smaller ones for the smaller flowers and the larger or the middle ones I should say for the bigger flowers and as I said the other day I keep the flowers on the piercing mat when I'm putting these in so that I'm not sort of squishing out all that lovely 3D effect I've just created. Right, okay, so let's put this together. You need your paper piercer, you need your mini glue dots. I did warn you at the end of last week over on my Facebook page that we are going to become very well acquainted with mini glue dots. So, take your paper piercer and hopefully you can see that you roll it to make a bit of a ball. Can you see that? It's turned into a ball of glue dot and you put that behind the heart. So when you um, uh, when you look through that side, am I, have you gone out of focus? Let me just... Yeah, that doesn't want to focus at all. Um, you can see it, but you can't see it that side. Clever! So, we're going to just roll up and make another ball here and hide that one behind this one in the middle, I think. And you just it's just manipulating this glue into the shape that I want it to be so that I can tuck it away behind these little bits of foil venom uh, on the vellum and make it invisible adhesive. And then I can position that over these. And you can see that I've just got, just about got a little hole there. Oh, I went all out of focus. I forgot to... I'm sorry. There you go. You're focused again. You can just about see there's a little tiny hole still there. So I'm going to get my ribbon. Silver one eighth of an inch ribbon. And feed it through so that, like I say there's just enough to go through both holes and then tie a knot at the top trim off those bits and then stick all of these flowers on now so back with the mini glue dots for perfect positioning Like I say, this is a gift tag, but you could make it a bookmark. You could make it maybe, I don't know, six inches long instead of four inches. I mean, it would be a great bookmark or something like that. Or you could make it shorter and make wine glass tags, wine charms, to identify which is your wine glass. But I'm keeping it as a gift tag. So, there you go. Hope you like it. Thank you very much for joining me in Party Week. Bye.